All right, guys. Little boy just stopped shopping. We just finished at Walmart. We got the, the stuff that's the cheapest at Walmart. We got it at Walmart. And now we at Kroger to get the things that are the cheapest at Kroger. Hey, you big as fuck, man. All right, guys. Just got back from the biggest grocery shopping ever. Time to get lean and keep as much muscle as possible. Okay, we went to, if you guys see the videos before this one, we went to Walmart to get the stuff that's the cheapest at Walmart and then Kroger to get the things that, you know, you gotta get the most for your money, guys. It's a lot of fucking food. That's it, I'm done with junk food. Balkan has been over. This is week, uh, I think it's week five or week six. I think it's week six of my diet, the start of my diet. So if you guys are wondering why, um, I'm a lot more serious about my diet now than before because once again the first the first six weeks I was just focusing on you know getting my mindset into the cutting mindset. It's very hard to go in the buff for as long as I did and then decide to cut right away. You gotta transition into it. So the first six weeks I started doing things little by little, more sprinting, more junk roll, more healthy eating. You know, you wanna slowly go from the fat ass side to the lean side. And now I'm officially ready mentally and physically. I'm gonna start cutting without having the mental preparation. If you have the mental, you're not ready mentally, you're gonna stop too early, guys. You're gonna quit, and it's gonna be horrible. You're gonna, you're gonna stop feeling bad about yourself, and that's gonna make it harder for you to bounce back up. But anyway, so week six, now I'm going on a super, super, super healthy diet. Obviously it's gonna cost me a lot more money, because once again, if you try to eat healthy in America, you're gonna be half broke. Uh, I'm gonna go through a quick breakdown. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. Mostly anti-estrogenic stuff, uh, testosterone boosting stuff. You know, all the basics. And we try to stay away from a lot of pasta shit. So here you go. Over here we got beets. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. I didn't get the pomegranate though. We got beets, guys. I'm gonna make a whole video explain to you guys what each, each specific food does, but um, I didn't memorize everything off the top of my head. We got beets, got some tomatoes, avocado. What's that smell? Oh, tomatoes. Why the tomato for this? All right, we got tomatoes. I'm not, I'm not gonna explain why, why I need tomatoes, guys. Basic shit, avocados, you guys already know. Really good for testosterone levels, healthy fats, vitamins, a lot of good shit. Banana, can't go wrong with bananas, guys. You're gonna see a lot of fruits and veggies, basic shit, guys, basic shit. Over here, now, wow, this is the MVP of, of the um, all the fiber I bought. Another, another focus on my diet is not only anti-estrogenic foods, liver detoxifying foods, aromatase inhibiting foods, testosterone boosting foods, and obviously fiber. And this guy right here, all brand original, has, uh, check this out guys, 10 grams of fiber per serving. The serving size is half a cup. Now this is expensive, I don't, I don't normally buy shit like that, but guys, half a cup has 30, where is it, where is it? 23 grams of carbs, only six grams of sugar, which is not that bad. You're a bodybuilder, six grams of sugar is, you know, it's not that bad. 10 grams of fiber, you can't beat that. So one cup has 20 grams of fiber, guys. Buy this. I got my fiber. Once again, the goal of this diet is to lose fat, but make it as much muscle as possible. Uh, zero calorie sweetener. I have to take this, guys, because you guys know I completely hate, uh, um, I hate bland tasting food, guys, like oatmeal and shit like that. But the only way I could eat it is if I make it just a, a, a little sweet. You know, being fat as a kid made me condition me to love sugar. And I love sugar. I'm very addicted to sugar. So I know there's a lot of bad, bad chemicals. People say, oh, sweeteners are bad, blah, blah, blah. But it's better than nothing, right? You want to make your diet easy. Don't make your diet too hard on yourself. So I'm going to eat healthy food that tastes like shit with, with, with zero calorie sweetener. If I get cancer, oh, fucking well. All right. Uh, so my dad's going to take over the channel, right? Here you get lemon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of these items I bought seven, seven bananas, seven tomatoes, seven avocados. I got more down there. Why? Because I bought enough to last me a week. And after a week, I'm going to look at my list and see what I really need, what I really don't need, what I can combine. So I'm just trying to eat at least one a day, right? When you start a diet, don't jump into, oh, I'm going to eat a whole bunch of fiber in one day. No, ease into it, guys, so your body doesn't burn out and get tired. 
uh, your, your mind, I mean. So one lemon a day, because I can't do, you know, more than one. <laughs> one lemon a day, one banana a day, one tomato a day, one avocado a day. No, one step at a time. I got me some honey. Not only some natural sauce of sugar for my post-workout stuff, post-workout shake and things like that, but it's also, it also has chrysin. A little bit of chrysin is one of the very powerful uh, aromatase inhibitors, guys, to lower your estrogen. So, um, papaya enzymes, you guys know me, guys, always gotta have your enzymes, always, especially papaya. Papaya or pineapple enzymes, bromelain. Now, once again, this is the, actually the only supplement that I bought today, shopping. I try to get everything from foods, but you can't go wrong with, with um, supplemental enzymes. You just can't, because the amount of protein you eat as a bodybuilder, a lot of it doesn't get digested. And you know it because you're, 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 you have loose stools, you fought all day, all these symptoms of undigested protein. You gotta get your enzymes, guys. So I'm still gonna eat fruits, you know, kiwis have a lot of enzymes, pineapple, papaya, but you wanna be safe. The last thing you want as a bodybuilder is your protein to be wasted. That's the last thing you want. And when you're cutting, when you're losing fat, you want to increase your protein, obviously, right? Because you're cutting your calories dramatically. You want to increase your protein and keep protein synthesis high. Keep your leucine intake high. So you got to make sure you're digesting all of the protein you eat. As well as, well as your fiber. I mean, your fiber is going to help with that. All right? Here I got baby wipes for my ass. I'm just playing. That's, that's for the baby. Oysters. I had to buy the cheap ones because they're too fucking expensive, guys. Probably the only canned shit that I got. Oh, this is very high in zinc, very high in testosterone boosting shit. Got me some soy sauce. I forgot why I got that. As much as I try to stay away from soy, soy has a very, very, very good, uh, I forgot what it is. I got the whole list on my computer. I'll show it to you guys. We researched all those foods and we bought the best of the best. Red bell peppers. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll, I'll make separate videos explaining. Our food selection. It took us two weeks, two fucking weeks to finally realize which foods we're gonna get the most out of. Alright, got some green tea. It has, it has a little bit of caffeine and also has a lot of stuff to help clean out your system, liver detox. We got lentils, excellent source of uh, fiber, protein, and carbs. You guys know we're really, really big on beans from that first, first low budget muscle video by my uncle. Uh, one serving of beans, which is a quarter of a cup, has 10 grams of protein and 11 grams of fiber in a quarter of a cup, 11 grams of fiber. And obviously, zero sugars, no, two grams of sugar, 20 grams of carbs. Really good, a lot of vitamins too. Lentils are very, very healthy. Brown rice needs no introduction. Almonds, stacked, stacked with vitamins. Um, vitamins, like vitamin B's, a little bit of vitamin B3, uh, healthy fats. Mainly, the reason why I got this is not only for the, the vitamins on that shit, but for the testosterone levels. Man. You gotta get your healthy fats in. Cashews, same reason why I got the almonds. Mixed nuts, because we couldn't find walnuts until later. So we had to get this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mix them up all together in a bowl and put a bunch of berries and fruits in. I get this real good walnuts. Fats are really expensive in America, guys. It's funny, they actually, a lot of them come from my country, my dad's country, Benin. And they're dirt cheap over there. We got dried raisins. I, I forgot what they're good for. <laughs> they're good for some shit. Like yeah, I say, guys, it's a long yeah. list. We, we organize everything for like all the categories. Spices, we got cumin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cumin. Cumin. <laughs> yeah, your chill. It, it, it looks like, like cumin. We got some cumin, right? It looks like cumin. Uh, and I explain why I'm gonna mix up a really the the reason for this with garlic powder, Miss Dash seasoning to make my broccoli kick because I hate broccoli, but it's such a good estrogen fighting food. All right, up here, You're like John, we're gonna eat as far as carbs. I'm still gonna eat the same same shit, guys. Call back a little but. For the next 10 days, I'm gonna try to like fix my insulin resistance because I've been, I've been eating too much sugar. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna take a break from carbohydrate for just about 10 days and eat some complex carbs uh, to kind of give my body, you know, uh, 10 days without insulin spikes. I get insulin spikes every day, every day, guys, every fucking day. I'm gonna give my body a break, a chance to reset. So I got me seven sweet potatoes, once again, seven. So you guys why? one a day. I'm gonna make that with eggs. I got a lot of good dishes with sweet potatoes. More sweet potatoes. Got onions, right? Can't go wrong with onions. 
550 shit. Plus, I have a lot of good, uh, let's see, they fight something. <laughs> garlic, right? You gotta have your garlic. All of these nutrients play a key role in the fight against estrogen. And production testosterone. There you go, red grapes. Red grapes, the reason why red wine is so good for even cancer patients, guys, because uh, they tell women, a lot of the a lot of the estrogen fighting stuff, I got a lot of my information from, from cancer research websites, because I know they're serious, they're not trying to sell too much bullshit, and they're actually trying to save lives. So a lot of stuff that limit um, estrogen fight aromatase. I, I made a video about that. And the skin of red grapes is really where wine gets resveratrol from. And resveratrol is a very powerful aromatase inhibitor. So we got red grapes, strawberries, need no introduction, raspberries, ah, and some shit, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, guys, this, we looked up so much, every way possible to increase the key levels, every way possible. And we picked the best foods, the MVPs, 100% extra virgin olive oil. Hans are talking to me in this big ass one because it actually makes sense. The small bottle, uh, I'll have to refill it. I probably, I, you know, buy a new one every, I don't know, probably every two, three weeks, every month. This one's gonna last a lot longer. I don't wanna get it because it's 20 fucking dollars, guys, which just fucking oil. But we need it so much. The reason why the Mediterranean diet is so good is because of the olive oil they eat. Oh shit, 11 minutes, god damn. Chill. All right, speed it up. Got me some kale. One of the one of the healthiest things you can eat, guys, in the fight against um, aromatase and estrogen and belly fat is broccoli, kale, and spinach and cabbage. You cannot go the top two: broccoli and kale. Top two, and the no, number three: is spinach. You know, has a lot of benefits. But as far as fighting estrogen, is broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, all the crucifers, cauliflower. So I can't eat a lot of broccoli. I hate that shit. I fucking hate it. But kale, I can eat. So. Right there, got the spinach, the best veggie sauce and fiber sauce for any bodybuilder. Spinach, so many vitamins, a lot of vitamin K, which has also been proven to block estrogen receptors, which in you know in turn increases your testosterone levels. Finally, the broccoli, I'm taking the shit out. How beautiful! That's a love broccoli. I just can't believe mm. broccoli, guys. <coughs> shit. Except I'm, unless you're getting food from Chinese food. And Chinese food ain't it. Alright? God, I bought a lot of shit, man. Cabbage, once again, the fight against estrogen. Okay, there's no fucking room. Yes, there is. Alright, what's this? Oh yeah, oranges. I got my kiwis. You guys know low budget stay with his kiwis. Oranges, a lot of citrus, a lot of vitamin C, which is great stuff to fight aromatase and estrogen. Avocado, they had a special, uh, about five of them for 250. Really, really good deal. In America, one avocado is like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. I got green onions, more bell peppers. I got salmon, one of the healthiest sources of uh, omega threes, guys. Protein, omega threes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I still buy fish oils, but I like getting my stuff from um, from whole sources, right? So, so two birds with one stone, guys. Get you your salmon. Next up is the beef. A lot of protein. The best protein source. I've been telling you guys from day one. You cannot go wrong with beef. It has leucine. It has L-arginine. It has fucking um, L-carnitine. It has taurine. Beef is just unbeatable, guys. I know, I know, I know it, has, it has a bad rep about cholesterol and saturated fats, but you need saturated fats, you need cholesterol for healthy testosterone levels, guys. The Greeks have been eating this for ages. Every civilization under the sun has been eating beef to get people swole, weightlifted, all that shit. Chicken gizzards, yes, liver. Chicken liver, chicken hearts. A lot of good nutrients, a lot of vitamins. I mean, your liver, guys, your liver is one of the most important organs in the human body as far as detox, so it's no coincidence that animal liver also has a lot of nutrients. What else we got? Got more beef. Loading up on beef, guys. Oh, this is pork, actually. Uh, damn, that was $10? I thought it was 5 Anyway, we got uh, <laughs> pork bones, <laughs> pork ribs. Nah, this is $7, too. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. $7. You saved 3 Okay, I'm, I'm on. 
I'm going to buy something that costs $10. Fuck out of here. All right, uh, choice beef round, I round steak, right? Three sixty eight. Is it still playing? No. It stops right up. It's still playing. All right, cool, cool, cool. More beef. 15 minutes, though. Beef is so expensive, guys. Beef is so expensive in America. And that tells you why. I say, hey, guys, whatever's expensive is usually what's good for you. Not all the time, but most of the time. Oh, we got that. Yeah, the bell factor. Okay, that's it, right? Got everything? Did you buy a red bell peppers? I bought one. Oh. Some smells mad good. Is that a chicken? Oh. Oh, this shit's cooking. Oh, yeah. I know some smells good. Oh, yeah. yeah this shit's smells mad good. Yeah, this shit I cooked. This shit I cooked a few days ago. What'd you put in there? Man, I got I got I got to sit down and remember. Smells so good, spinach and chicken. Oh, it's that chicken I made a Facebook post. All right, guys, just like I predicted, the video stopped, but um, thank God we done. So that's all the food I got. It came out to almost two hundred dollars. That's a lot of fucking money, but I'm not gonna spend that same shit every week. A lot of stuff is gonna last a lot longer. And I forgot to show you the the eggs, obviously. So comment below. Uh, what you want a video on the testosterone foods, the estrogen lowering foods, whatever. Just holler at like me. I'll make more videos about um, fuck bone density training and then the meal plan and stuff like that. All right, stay tuned, guys. I'm out. Thanks for the feedback. What's going on, guys? Megan here, heading out to Walmart with Hansa to go grocery shopping. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, 